Good evening. I'm Toby Hodges. This is the Shogun 43. 43 foot of carbon fiber fun. Fast cruising, six and a half ton, lightweight skimming dish from Sweden. And we are here off Barcelona for European Yacht of the Year trials. Got the asymmetric hoisted. Breeze is starting to drop a little bit, but we still got enough, as you can see, for this boat to do its thing. So we're sitting at between eight and 10 knots at the moment in 12 knots breeze, pointing up here. A little bit of swell behind us, awkward swell, but really pretty fun, stiff, rewarding sailing right from the word go. So we'll drop this in a minute and see what it's like under code. We've added a little sail upwind as well, um, but we're trying out different angles and things. Anyway, welcome aboard. So we're sailing upwind on the Shogun 43. Eight to 10 knots of breeze. And this is a real weapon. It's it's not only a really cool design, it's just got lots of sort of free thinking in there as well in terms of the design and the build and how they've set it up for it to be a fun, sporty boat to, to race or to sail, crude or shorthanded really. Um, so as we're going up, we're now it's got a, the sail plan was designed around a self-tacking jib, which seems unusual, particularly with running backstays as well. But um, that's a reefable jib as well, and you can set an inner stay sail as well. Uh, and we've got, we've left the code sail rigged up now. We've um, done a bit of everything so far. But from here, you can see we've got the um, mainsail each side on these Carver Power 150 winches. So extra powerful winches, they're really good. Always surprised more people don't use these, the extra Pontos winches. Backstays back here to their own to their own winches, foot plates here, and then a lot of this boat is set up to be push button. So including the, the line driver for the for the traveller here. So you can see on the pedestals each side, this is what the helmsman's the helmsman's view here as we do sort of seven and a half knots going up upwind here, but there's also this panel to work the hydraulic controls on each pedestal. So from here, the helmsman or the trimmer has the bang, the deflector, the outhaul, and the traveler just on a push button there, as being nicely demonstrated. Um, so now we've got obviously the, the traveler right up to windward, centered the boom. Um, really nice set of sails on here from north as well. And you can see not only uh, there's a load gauge on the running backstays there, uh, but also the and g set up here, uh, showing the rudder angle as well. So how much? So when you're trimming, uh, you can see easily how much rudder's being applied from twin rudders, and then trimming, trimming the head sail from up on the coach reef winch again on these carved winches as well. So you can either go high speed or or high power on these winches. And a pretty slick crew I might add as well. Some good work going in from the crew. <laughs> Credit to the crew, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so as we reach with the code sail, we're just looking at how we can adjust, not only the, the rudder, but there's, this is the carbon E-bar, so you can adjust the towing angle of the rudders. Lay up to six degrees on this, which is pretty cool. So not only can you obviously adjust the pressure on what is on, on the rudders from the mainsail and the, and the use of the traveler and the sheet, but you can change, actively change the towing angle of the rudders as you're going along. And that's done again from the helm pedestal, just on these push buttons. The B&D display telling us now what that is. 
Here it is, the last of the evening sailing. We got 10 knots of breeze, sort of following, quartering sea, two to three meter swell. And we are reaching along here under code sail, about 90 to 100 to the true wind, doing about seven and a half to nine knots, very, very easily. It's a lovely sporty feel on the helm. So if this Shogun 43 is pretty different to look at from the outside and fun to sail, it is on the inside too. So it's an Oscar Sodergren design through out naval architecture and and the interior design and this is what makes it very different this is a narrow boat but look how open it is and light it is and the way they've been able to do this basically is from a clever build technique so yes it's a full carbon build and it's only a six and a half ton yacht and they can get that down to about 6.1 this has a lot of hydraulics etc in there but the way they're able to do that is the hull to deck join is not at the, at the side there but at the side of this coach roof and this coach roof as you see is quite narrow up here um, so the hull wraps right over here joins here and that means that they can Without the deck, the boat the boat is structurally sound. Um, there's so much stiffness in it in the fibers that run longitudinally uh, that uh, you don't the, the deck is not adding anything there. So that means you don't have to have the big bulkhead that goes across here uh, and closes off the interior. So that means you do get this open open and very light, especially with all these skylights above here, fit look and feel to it, which it's pretty cool, it's pretty different for you know, very fast sports boat essentially to have such a nice light open design inside. Yeah, so the concept is really for really sports cruising, you know, fast cruising like we have today, good fun sailing, sailing at the wind speed and above and planing. Uh, and so the boat has been built by uh, Linjet Yachts, uh, who we, if you remember, we did the, the uh, Linjet 43 for European Yacht Day last year uh, and it won in the category so if you haven't seen that check it out because they're a traditional Swedish yard who build a lot of this by hand um, and then they built this almost the opposite end this Shogun 43 uh, out of carbon fiber but also lots of really good techniques involved so all of the not all of this is foam sandwich but all of the non-structural parts uh, are in flat as well so that's the divinacell foam and then the black part there is flax and then you just have this very thin veneer on top so it's very very lightweight there's a carbon one uh, and a lot of it pressed together or laminated so the yard order in the veneer and then they, they laminate it onto the uh, the flax and the foam sandwich and the flax is not really is in terms of trying to do anything environmentally conscious so much it's a carbon boat but it's for the sound insulation, especially the impact going through waves and that sort of thing, carbon boat can be pretty loud. So the flax helps with that, the noise insulation of that. Up here, you lose, he lose headroom here. So you've got about five foot nine about to the, to the end of this so, uh, end of the saloon. And then you're into this uh, V-berth really with a bit of stowage each side boat as you can tell will really be used for, for I would have thought for week ending but you can cruise on it you know it's 43 footer it's got essentially three cabins one of them being open um, while we're here nice big saloon area for entertaining but look at this under here this gives you a bit more of a clue about what sort of boat this is so not only have you got the full hydraulic pack under the saloon table here but check out this that's the keel box on top of the keel head itself. And that's a carbon fiber, oh, excuse me, carbon fiber um, keel trunk from Marstrom, the carbon rig specialist in Sweden. Uh, yeah, and that is a very, very thin cord, thin of the keel with three tons of ballast hanging off it. 
Uh, so yeah, pretty impressive piece of engineering that. Uh, and that's 2.7 meter deep keel. You can also tell from that that, you know, just those, what are, what are they, one, two, three, four, five bolts on there. They can take the keel off in half an hour, in terms of which, you know, they've trucked it down here to Barcelona. Selden carbon mast base pierces through the aft end of this saloon. You're about five foot 10, uh, up to sort of six foot headroom in that main area of the companionway. Uh, compact little tart tabley instrument panel there. And the galley itself, and then you've got these where the boat widens out, uh, two aft cabins. And no hull windows in there, so you lose your light in here. But got enough for a bit of headroom, turn around, sleep. It's a sports boat. And then head wet room in here. Neat light switch, it's nice. Attention to detail and a carbon fibre bog. Oh yeah. So the whole, as I say, all of the boat is carbon, apart from, or carbon or flax uh, foam sandwich, apart from, here we go, nice little neat button there. Ta -da. I like that, I'd play with that. Um, and that's, uh, yeah, so a car apart from the actual engine bed itself for the engine to sit on. So you've got a Volvo Penta D30, uh, 30 horsepower. No, the whole of the interior weighs only about 350 kilos. Because all of these non-structural parts in that flax foam sandwich and the keel trunk, the keel fin, you could pick up by hand. Look at that, the advantage of doing these videos. We tidy up everything. I don't have to do the hard work. Ah, very pleased to have come aboard this one. Shogun 43 from Sweden. Check it out. Very, very cool boat. And yeah, you pay for it. Uh, so this boat starts at basically a million euros for a sail away, for a sail away boat with sails hydraulics, electric winches, that sort of thing. Uh, and this one is about 1.2 X-Tax. A lot of money, but it is quite a sports car. You know, it's like a bit of a Lamborghini of the sea, I would say. Hope you enjoyed the sale. I really did. See you next time.